in this GMAT question here, we need to find out what is the value of f x times y. And in order to do that, we know that x plus 2 is equals 2, and x squared plus y squared is equals 2. Okay, how can we find out this value? Hey guys, in order to do that, uh, let me take, for example, this x plus y here being equal to 2. Okay, if I have this information here, I have, a, for example, that x plus y is squared, for example, needs to be equal to squared. If I have a equal b, so it means that a squared needs to be equal b squared. That is the property that I'm using here, okay? So, if I have x plus y squared, in fact, we have that using the uh, property of uh, factorization here, we have that this is the same thing as x squared plus 2 times xy plus y squared. And in the right side, you have 2 uh, to the power of 2 equals 4, okay? If you don't remember this, no problem. You just need to multiply x plus y times x plus y, and you can distribute those terms using the product, okay? So, it means that x times x, for example, it will be x squared, x times y, it will be xy, and doing the same thing with the second term here, x times y, it will be uh, this y times x here, it will be xy, once the product is commute, commutative, and y times y, y times y, it will be y squared, okay? So, we will have x squared plus 2 times xy plus y squared, okay? That's exactly what I put it here, okay? So, we are almost there, because, let me show, okay? Continue this reasoning here. Look, I will leave the terms x squared and y squared in the left side, and I will keep this for in the right side of this equation, and I will send this term to the other side. Remember that when you do that, you need to change the sign of this term. So this will be minus x y uh, two, minus two x y because I changed the sign of this term. But guys, remember that the question told us that x plus x squared plus y squared it's equals to so it means that we can switch x squared plus y squared by two. So this term is two. So we know that uh, two it will be equal four minus two x y. And in fact, I will send this term to this side. Uh, and I will change uh, the sign again. Actually, I could uh, just combine here and leave this, this term here, but no problem, okay? Actually, I will go back with this term to this side, so it will be 2xy. And I will leave this 4 here, and I will send this 2 to the right side, so it will be 4 minus 2. And I have that 2xy. Uh, it will be equal to, because 4 minus 2 is equal to, and finally, uh, look, this term here, it's multiplying x times y, so if I send this 2 to the other side, it, this 2 will divide this 2 that we have in the right, okay, so in the end, we'll uh, get that xy, it will be 2 divided by 2, so xy, it will be equal 1, okay, so that is the answer of this question. Uh, the answer so it will be the letter D. Okay guys.